Hi, kindergarten friends. Today for math, we're going to work on making a graph. A graph is a way to collect information about a picture and then put the information into a graph so people can easily tell things about the picture, like which did we have more of, which did we have less of, how many of each item did we have. So if you look here at our Christmas picture, we have some gingerbread houses, yum, yum. We have some gingerbread cookie faces. We have some whole gingerbread cookies. This is a rolling pin, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a rolling pin. That's what we used to roll out the dough when we were making our cookies. And then we have our oven mitt. We wanna use that so that when we take the cookies out of the oven, they're not too hot, right? We don't burn our hands. So to make my graph, you look also, sorry, if you look across the bottom of the graph, it shows us each item that we're gonna count. <clears throat> and then going up the side, it has numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So let's start with gingerbread houses. And I'm going to use purple. So I'm gonna look at this picture and I'm gonna color the gingerbread houses purple. I'm gonna do each object a different color. Now in real life, a gingerbread house would be brown, <clears throat> but you can pretend you use purple frosting or whatever color frosting you wanna use. So I'm gonna find all of them in my picture and I'm gonna color them. Here's another one. Do you see any more gingerbread houses? I do too, I see one right here. So now I've colored all of the gingerbread houses, haven't I? So look how many gingerbread houses did I color? Count them with me. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna use my purple crayon again, and I'm gonna come over here. I found four gingerbread houses, so I'm going to color in four squares to show I found four gingerbread houses. I'm gonna outline one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna color them in. We're making what we call a bar graph because this is making a bar to show how many of each item. My bar is going up and down in this graph, but it can also go side to side. One, two, three, four, and look, if I follow my finger across at the top of this fourth box, one, two, three, four, it matches up with the number four over there. So this is showing I had four gingerbread houses. I'm going to do the same thing with the cookie faces. I want you to color them, count them, and draw your line. Color the gingerbread cookies, count them, and draw your line. Your rolling pins, you're gonna color them, count them, and then fill in the graph, and your mittens. So when you're done with this paper, the whole picture should be colored. Each one should be a different color. So I use purple here. So I would use a different color for this one and then a different color and a different color and a different color. So making sure that you're using five different colors here and five different colors here. And if you do your graph the right way, I should be able to tell by looking how many of each object we had and which items we had the least of, the most of, if any were the same. I can't wait to see your work today, friends. Have a great day.